start, 15 and 10 this year, and 6 and 0 in the CAA. Cassidy Kerr, the sophomore lefty, works a quick strikeout to get things started. One almost anywhere else in the country. And all three of these starters, Wright, Walker, and Kerr, all ACC talent in the circle. And the rice ball works again. Two punch outs for Kurd. Battle here against the sophomore stud, Cassidy Kurd. That heat stays outside. And a two out walk here for Sabatica. Advantage of a couple of errors to jump ahead, then did not score the rest of the game. And now two walks helping the cause today. As the catcher does not get the sign in time, which is pretty important, I'd say. So Kurt gets the right signals and delivers a strikeout. Good adjustment for Cassidy Kurt. Three Ks to end this first. Day. Might come in in game two, but it'll depend on score and circumstance. As the defense is tested, nice response by Sabatica for the first out. The Mountain West, the Big East, and the Northeast Conference has faced seven different conferences. Make the ACC her eighth, and Sabatica's all over. so much for your resume. Yeah, absolutely, especially with the legitimate critique of Duke's strength of schedule thus far. And so they have to make the most of those opportunities against ranked opponents. Davidson shoots one into the stars, and Stockton's all over it. Quick inning for Kerrigan Ewers. We will see with UNCW to the play. Winstead tests center, and Jennings able to reroute to make the play. Well, it's a late carry on it. Locate those secondary pitches has been huge for Kerr this offseason. The reigning freshman all ACC pitcher. Now forces weak contact. And there's two quick outs. Adds another layer to Cassidy Kerr's game. Now a first pitch drive in a right. That's over the head of Goddard and off the wall. Here's Carson Fleming in his second. And there you go. Timed up the heat and delivered a double. I mean, hits allowed per seven innings. So difficult to get anything going. Gives up the two out double now in the second. This pop up will stay on the infield. And a nice play to end it for Amina Vega. Wilmington with the double, but not much to show for it. And do pitch to get that strike call. Looking to guide her senior pitcher who misses up on the zone in the first walk for Ewers today. Good swing by Freelich. That will be caught. Britt able to retreat. Two different center fielders today. Relic. Head coach Ashley Wade, she said, I would be surprised if my team even knows their record. Here's a loose ball that allows the runner to move forward in Vega. Well, Duke's record is one of the best in the country right this year. It's running the table, but upsets are plenty, at least in the first couple of months. Now a drive to short, Sabatica is there. Now the Sooners have only lost one game all year, right? And LSU the same at 24 and one. Fighting LSU, Oklahoma State has been impressive. Texas has some serious bats in their lineup. Speaking of bats, this ball's driven to center right at the track and a long fly out for Sarah Goddard. The Wilmington team fresh off a regular season title but fell short in the conference tournament. And by Tola, plops one to center. Good coverage by Jennings for the out. Rocking the Ray-Bans on a bright. And a take for strike three. Four punch outs for Kerr in a tough battle here in the third. Yeah, that time Kerr that pitch. The grad senior marries Sabatica in a good battle. That ends in the rise ball. The advantage Kerr, that cut action is so tough. Five Ks. Another pop-up to start the inning. And a good call by Cope to cut in front of her pitcher for the out. I know pitchers are athletes. You love tweeting that rain, but I love when infielders. It's a rare start for junior infielder Lauren Richardson, the exercise science major. That gets underneath the glove, so there's a hit for the Blue Devils. Vitola couldn't squeeze it on a one-out single. In my and Kerrigan Ewers is going to be responsible for that right side of the infield. So we'll see what Deanna Jennings does to attack. 
Now the runner takes off, and a great throw, but just safe. Good slide by the pitch runner, Terrell, there. Did it perfectly, the ball beat her there. She hook slide, made it in safely. Really nice base running by Aaliyah Terrell. Now a four-pitch walk to put runners at first and second. Breaking balls popped to right. Oh, and it blinded the right fielder, Winstead. Duke bringing home the first run in Terrell. A chance for two runs, and everyone's safe on the triple. Good swing that time, and Davidson delivers. Claire's looking for two, and she's in there. Claire Davidson with her 25th career that's double. That's a double for Claire Davidson. And that's Claire no Davidson doing what she... Sounds like a carnival of some of this Duke dugout down there. <laughs> it does. And the 3-2 is poked to second. That's bobbled. And the Blue Devils now come to the plate. But the runner is caught by mistake. So Cope starts the rundown to end the inning. Duke, though, adds four of its own in the inning. And there's the second out. Seeing the ball really well for the fourth-year senior. That time she sits back, toasts it to left, and there's Stockton to put it into the inning. Not before Duke scores four runs, and the offense. Morgan Brett takes advantage on the first pitch, and that's rocketed out to Claire Davidson. Now that's been the adjustment. The 53 pitches. 54 might have been her best right there. So much late movement for a 6K. Lieutenant and Duke. And Duke with the three run third, the big difference. Pardon me, the four run third. And a strikeout for Kurd. Doesn't matter what the score is, she's pumping out zeros for Duke. Seven. And Torres delivers a base hit. That's Duke's fifth hit of the game. Yeah, the senior has just grown. It's a really good swing on that one. Sarah Goddard takes a big swing, and that's got the cat written all over it. Marissa Young pushing both runners. Another example there of Wilmington missing the cutoff so easily in the junior of Heartland, Michigan. Zampa actually got hit by that pitch, so the bases are loaded. And what has become a big fourth inning for Duke. And Giselle has seen it all. She's played all over the field. So much experience in the battle of the veteran. Tapia goes hard to short. Nice play to the plate. And there's the first out from Sabatica. This sort of becomes a make or break inning. And Winstead gets a big out to stop that rally. Here's two down. Connect gets a strikeout. So a fielder's choice and a strikeout. And now it's Anna Gold who's hitting 750 with the bases juiced. That ball, though, sneaks away. And Duke will take advantage. Oh. Don't worry, everyone's OK. I was about to tell you about Anna Gold's grand slam history, but I'll save that for later. Out of a baseball field. That's just how much power Anna Gold has in her bat. Gold shows the power. This is deep to center and caught against the wall. Inches away from completing your story, Rain. Instead, a long out. Duke does add a run to its lead. It's 5 nothing. And there's Duke right there at 4. This is popped up. Makes it a lot easier with those shades out there. That's been trouble for these right side fielders. And a good play there. This is Carson Fleming, who roped a double her first time up, making her first start of the year. And good hands from Tapia, who's real busy over there. Second victory of her young career. That one's called strike three, and eight punch outs for Cassidy Kurd junior year and she talked about the maturity and the growth and adding pieces to her repertoire there's a good piece and it's tipped into the mid yeah that that third pitch being able to rise up and 
comp pitcher. And now pitchers have developed both angles, drop ball and a rise ball. Here's a ground ball. Nice snag by Viola, and she's got it for the second out. Wilmington showing all four of its pitchers in this doubleheader. Against an offense where there's no easy outs. That one just misses down, and a walk here with two outs. The ever patient Kelly Torres. Torres goes right back up the middle, and another base hit. That's two hits. Runners keep moving. Both runners look to advance. And smart base running there for Torres. Also, I imagine Carrie Hammock's going to go back to her bread and butter, which is that drop ball. Drives it outside in the base hit. Torres comes in to score. And now heading to second base. She is out. So that ends the inning. Aitola 0 for 2 in this game. Hitting 333 coming in for the all-conference infielder. Kind of pokes one to the left, and there's the first out. And the NCAA tournament appearances on the wall, the All-Americans on the wall. What a job head coach Mercy Young has done to build this thing. That one hits Skyler Stockton. I think this year they have a chance of multiple All-Americans, especially the way Jayla Wright's pitching. Peyton St. George from a few. This could be two. Nice start. Oh, that one sneaks away from Tapia. I don't know if they would have had her either way. Yeah, really nice time. The Duke team that's hosting the ACC tournament this year for the first time ever. So they went to Best Buy and picked up a video board. I say that half jokingly, half seriously. As that ends the inning. Blue Devils a chance to walk it off Hift on another 3-2 pitch. The rise ball, and that goes over her mitt by Tola just late. And an infield single there. That was a good battle from both sides, I will say. Yeah, definitely a good battle. Really nice execution by... Our ball is short. Nice start. Really no chance to get top of you there. So a fielder's choice. I think they'll turn things around. I think they'll pick things up as we head further and further in ACC play. Slow roller here. And out at first base. And I think Mercy Young's going to challenge this. Seeing those promo shots that he jumps into the car. The call is out. That ball skips away, and the winning run's now at third. It's a base running for Duke. Gold pops one up. And this game will go to the seventh. So Duke three outs away from a doubleheader sweep. Throughout the season, they're going to face some tough teams, but they're going to have to use their entire bullpen. And there's a... I pitched walk to get things started. And you're right, we've seen that with both these teams. Uh, all five pitchers. The snapping streaks, though. They've been a super region power the last decade. Have yet to make the big dance in Oklahoma City, but always showing promise as that ball's grounded out. That one goes over the glove and a base hit. Runners will hold. Wilmington with its second hit of the game. The payoff pitch. Very close. Now to load the bases. Oh my, I just, with a lead of seven, I'd play double play death, push, push the middles back and work for two. Hard hit to third. There's one. Pats the ball game. A doubleheader sweep. And this Duke defense really shining in a 7-0 win.
Yeah, no errors for this Duke defense here in game two. And what a game it was for this Duke team all around. It was timely hitting. It was a big bottom of the third scoring four. And most importantly, it was Cassidy Curd and Sophie Garner McKinnon in the circle. Curd with eight strikeouts. Garner McKinnon came in and shut the door. Duke was firing on all cylinders tonight. It's a balanced Duke win. Blue Devils move to 